Best of luck to you. Now, our first guest is a well-loved comic actor who starred in hit shows, including The Comic Strip Presents and Bottom. And who could forget, of course, his performance as punk Vivian in The Young Ones. With his days of teenage rebellion firmly behind him, he's now partaking in slightly more tranquil pursuits, investigating the stories that lie within the heart of the Yorkshire Dales. Oh, please welcome Adrian Edmondson. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, look at that We're all dribbling. Can I just say, uh, just bearing in mind the two items you already had about al fresco loving yeah. and protest marches. My wife and I only really like making love during protest marches. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're looking forward to a period of instability. <laughs> so you had a busy weekend then? Yes, yeah, certainly did. <laughs> And I stole some jam at the same time. <laughs> well, no wonder you like the Dales. <laughs> <laughs> what is the uh, connection with you and the Yorkshire Dales? Uh, well, I was born in Bradford and lived in Bradford, and the Dales was sort of my sort of playground when I was a kid. We used to uh, gather on day trips. When I went to school, it was where all the school trips went to Malham. I went to three different <laughs> schools. They all did the same field trip. And then as a teenager, we used to go camping and trying to talk to lovely ladies <laughs> and get drunk. The Alfresco loving's coming back again. Yes, well, it didn't actually happen at all. <laughs> Al Alfresco or other. <laughs> it is beautiful. I mean, the scenery in that clip, I'm in a real country bumpkin now. Yeah. And uh, I love living in the countryside. So, did, is that what appealed to you to, uh, well, to no, show everybody the beauty? It's not really, it's not a celeb on holiday in the Dales. It's, um, <laughs> it's, it's, about, it's a factual documentary about mm. people who are living and working in the Dales. So um, there were kind of four documentary teams following all these different stories, and I just kind of glue it together. Right. How familiar sort of. were you with it all, though? I mean, did you spend a lot of time up there? Because you live in no. the West Country, I don't mean, you? Yeah, I mean, I, I, didn't, I haven't been to the Dales since I was about 18. Um, until about seven years ago, when, you know when you go touring, you know this, <laughs> and you play the same theatre for a week, and normally I just sit in the hotel all day and mm. bore myself watching telly. Well, obviously, not loose women. <laughs> 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 but, but towards, towards but it's the a bonus, isn't it, when you're yeah. on tour and you've then, got nothing then, else Then to... I think I'm, I must do something else. So I used to rent cars and drive out. And I drove out to Wednesdaydale and it was just, it was just it was unbelievable. And it has remained that's really... What, what I, looks interesting to me about your programme, though, is to see how tough it is, actually, say, from a farming point of view, mm. to make a living nowadays, but it still is like all creatures great and small. I it's mean, It's bizarre. It, I mean, you think... You look at it on the map of Britain and you think, well, that must be, you know... It's, not very far away from Leeds, Bradford, Manchester, Bolton. You know, you think it must be teeming with people. But it's completely empty. Oh, and it takes an hour to get there from any train station. Lots of sheep, middle. though. Yes. Yeah. Like sheep? <laughs> yeah. I don't... Oh, but you, you met some people, didn't you? Didn't you meet, um, like, a guy who's, like, 16 or something? It's yes. Still... Right, well, it's, it's a sad story, but with hope at the end. Uh, this little kid, his, his dad had unfortunately died, and uh, he just left school, and his mum and he had to sort of decide make the decision to sell the, f the, the dairy herd, as it were, and, uh, and decide to start training sheepdogs instead. He's a very, very uh, inspiring little boy. Mm. And so the lady that was serving you tea and scones mm. there, she had a, a baby strapped to her front. I'm in love with front. her. Are you? She's like Does Jennifer know about this? She's like an uber woman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She, I mean, she, that baby was how many weeks old? I think old? she's popped out a couple more since then. <laughs> um, but she, uh, she was running around like uh, a... And they live in such a, a, a sort of... Um, isolated little farmhouse up in the hills. They get snowed in for sort of three or four months at a time. Wow. And, um, but she's married. Oh. So are you? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, I am. <laughs> um, on the subject of your good lady wife, how's yes. she doing? She's very, very well, thank you very much for good. asking. Aww. Good. She's in good health, Fettle? She is, yeah. I know you all want to talk about cancer, but we've kind no, of... No, we just want to make sure she's OK. We've doing because it's, 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 it becomes what you are, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we just yes. wanted to say hi to her. Well, yes. I'm sure she'd on, a, on a lighter that. note, um, you have been keeping us very entertained on a, a Saturday night <laughs> in a tutu. Oh. <laughs> Don't talk about our meetings. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dance for comic relief. <laughs> uh, what on earth possessed you? <laughs> well, they kind of asked me to come up with like, some iconic dance. You know, most people do what you kind of generally see and uh, and I, I sort of trawled the internet looking for famous dances and found this The Dying Swan which was written for Anna Pavlova and uh, there you are I, Ooh, there you lovely. are lovely oh, you, you look good in life yeah. <laughs> yeah the ankles aren't bad the rest of it's a bit rubbish <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you've also um, 
I mean, Rick Mail came on at the end of that uh, routine and, and, and hit you around the head with a, with a pan. Yes. Which is your kind of old comedy partnership. But there's a new one forming, isn't there, between you and good old grumpy Jack D? Yes. We, well, we did a thing last year called Monte Carlo or Bust, uh, which didn't quite work as an entire programme, but our, our little segment worked quite well. So we're, we're kind of exploring that. And we're going to make a, a documentary series about fast food, I think. Ooh. You do? Yes. What you do? What's Easy your obsession with fast food? I, I, uh, we want to find out where it comes from. Oh, you don't. No, we don't. No, 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 no. I mean, no, don't ruin it for the rest of us. <laughs> Have you been there? Wine, anything seems like a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> really? No, the history of a Frankfurt. Where does it come from? No. Oh, right. It okay. must take you from a kind of baseball game in America to, I imagine, yeah. sort of 15th century Vienna. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you're not going to some factory going, look, here's an eyeball, and that's your <laughs> yeah. sausage. Here's someone smashing up the nasty bits from a carcass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How does Rick feel about that, though? Does he feel like you're being unfaithful, uh, you know, going well, off no, and working we, we, with Jack? We kind, of, we kind of divorced amicably about eight, eight years ago. They're still friends, though. Yeah, 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 we still see each other a lot, but uh, it, you have periods of your life where, you know, it became too all-encompassing, that kind mm. of relationship. Mm. It became everything we ever did, and it was... A, do you think you'll ever do, do something with things. him again, though? Do you think you'll ever... We've got an idea for a sitcom for when we're very old. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You could be the evil nurse. Please, oh, please. <laughs> nurse Ratchet. No. Yes. No, we, have, we, 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 want to, we want to set it in old people's homes, and it'll be like Bottom, but 30 years on. Perfect. So, uh, Brilliant. Hitting each other with yeah, costume perfect. bags and things yeah. like that. <laughs> well, as we think, good luck with the series. No, it starts tonight at 8 o'clock on ITV1. <laughs> uh, a pleasure, as always, to have you in. Adrian Edmondson, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. for the job. <laughs> We're going to take a break now. Uh, we'll be back asking.